Hey everybody, T3 here, and today I'm bringing you a story from my northern Canadian province of Ontario. It's about two men arrested in Kingston on um, terror threat charges, I guess. Uh, they were apparently involved in an FBI sting, which is odd because we don't really have FBI in Canada. It's usually the RCMP that, de RCMP that deals with most of these things. and. Uh, just a very, very odd situation. There's a, I guess it was an older man and a minor, but uh, apparently they had been both arrested and for releasing sensitive information, I assume it was, or they had been uh, lured into basically a situation where the government had to come in using the RCMP, the FBI, and uh, spy planes to uh, apprehend these guys. I'm just gonna play this short clip to. Ooh. Uh, we didn't really know the neighbors. I've seen them before walking by. They're right across the street. But um, other than seeing them on their porch, I haven't met them at all. They've never seemed off, um, as much as I can say that. Like, honestly, I just haven't said a word to them. Um, usually they're inside or just on their porch. I haven't seen them anywhere else. So right here with this situation, I just think that it, you know, like they're doing this a lot, especially across the states, you know, they're they're pulling people out for saying sort of uh, things they shouldn't be saying online and you know, getting them in a lot of trouble because apparently these guys were saying some some things they shouldn't have been and uh, yeah, ended up getting them arrested, you know, the FBI was investigating them and this is just happening in Canada and uh, it just got me thinking, you know, like I, I just kind of, you know, googled you know, terrorists or even just the whole situation Kingston, two men arrested in Canada, terror threat. That's why I just YouTube that. And the first couple videos that come up are just, you know, a couple months, or I guess two years ago now. There's a, a couple teens out in Alberta. I guess one of them, they're going to blow up a couple parkades and the guy ended up shooting himself in the head and blowing himself up in the car. And uh, that was kind of recent, so... Uh, and the, the top one's talking about the soldiers that were killed at the, the remembrance, I think it was the parliament. Yeah, they were shot at Senate, they're doing Cenotaph, and uh, they were shot. And then um, the fourth story down basically is like what I wanted to like mention, because this is what I think is what happened. They just, they got a kid talking about, you know, some ideas and stuff online. I'm, I can't show you the, the full story, but... Uh, it's, if, if you just you Google Canadian terror threat, this is the fourth video that basically comes up and it basically goes on to talk about how they, uh, this, they got this kid to go and buy explosives and obtain all this stuff from mining companies and and they end up luring him, you know, making him look like the bad guy, sort of like just, you know, a trap. And uh, yeah, it just keeps going on, just tons. <sighs> Yeah, there's garbage down there. But anyways, I just think this is suspicious because uh, something that's currently going on as well is uh, there's a jet fuel that's spilt around this area as well. And it's about 50,000 liters spilt into local drinking water because we, most of the people around here get our, we drink well water. We have aquifers, we have fresh water. So, and a lot of this jet fuel is actually leaked into it and it was caused by a fuel truck because there's apparently a abandoned car in the middle of the road and uh, the trucks swerved to avoid it but yeah th they didn't uh, actually contain the spill till three days after that's something they won't say on here but yeah and uh, they had to shut down one of the the local lakes because jet fuel causes most like water not to f like to ice not to form on water sorry because you know you can't have your jet fuel freezing in the winter so uh, this one place near here it's, it won't freeze over now and they They've actually shut it down for ice fishing and all that because of that, because the jet fuel's actually gotten in there and it's gotten really bad. But uh, I just think we should all be paying close attention to all this and just be careful what you say online because, you know, the government can take whatever you say and, you know, arrest you. It's just better just to stay in good terms, you know, don't have any crazy political ideas, just, you know, just chill out, have a good time. Just report on what you think suspicious and, you know, don't have any crazy ideas and if you do, just you know, keep them to yourself, I guess. But anyways, just here's one for everyone in Canada on Live League. Just uh, check some of the stuff out. Cheers.